Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Oblivion and in this episode we are going to go deliver the amulet to someone who knows the last remaining heir to the throne and Uriel Septim died last episode and off screen I just moved a little from the tunnel to this village right here and we're gonna be doing that quest at a later date probably next episode now that I think about it if I'm not too invested in the storyline then we'll go back and work on that but just for now we're going to be delivering the amulet and hopefully doing the things they asked us to, really. Uh, Wayman Priory. Records have power to... Oh, never mind. Alright. in here. How do I go in? This is an issue. This is an issue. Oh, space. You must find a bed and rest to raise your level. That's good information. Hello? Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Thanks. Go ahead. Alright, thanks. To... Joffrey. Hello there, Joffrey. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the Amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words close shut the jaws of Oblivion certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. The emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. 
Emperors. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. Leave. Actually, no, Waste. I'll ask him Your why. first priority now should be to find Martin and. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. some stuff throw away the short sword uh, throw away the rusty iron bow fulminate would work oh Iron War Axe. Now can I move? No. Um, two ninety eight. Jesus Christ. Ah! Ooh. Oh, that scared me. Two seventy four. All right, we're good. Now we are going to go find Martin, who will hopefully be alive, but at the same time I doubt it. Not to be a bad person, but, you know, if every single heir to the Septum Throne has died, then, well... Then again, no one really knew about his child. Come on! So. Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! What? God's blood! You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night! There were glowing portals outside the walls! Gates to oblivion itself! There was a huge creature! Something out of a nightmare! came right over the walls, blasting fire. They swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. How did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias, some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Sadly, it says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. Are you going insane, sir? Imagine. I just can't sleep. I lie down and close my eyes, but I can't stop thinking about it. Alright. That's nice. I, you picked a bad time to visit Kavach. No crap. If you mean the priest, I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Savlion Matthias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. You'll find him at the barricade at the top of the road. He's still trying to hold what's left of the guard together. All right. Bye. 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 
so let's just get ready. Because I don't know what's going to go on once we get up there. Hopefully nothing bad will happen, but I think I jinxed it, so something bad's going to happen. Ugh, what kind of barricade is it? A good one? Or just one of those really cheap ones? I need to walk all the way up instead of fast traveling. Just when I got used to it. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, no. Oh, crap. This is not good. Really, really not good. The Gold Coast. I think I'm going. Wait. What the hell? On your side. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened here? We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel. But others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them! With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. I mean, not really, Martin. You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them, at least safe for the moment. If he's not... That's ironic, isn't it? Just when I said that he might be safe. Just when. I'm listening. <sighs> I appreciate the gesture. All right. I'll take that, and thank you very much. You're welcome. That's just stupid. Please, I'm embarrassed, but thank you. You're welcome. That's enough. Don't make me laugh. All right, I get it. Good, you should. You too. Ugh. Now what do I do? I mean, there's nothing much I can do now, is there? What happens if we walk through the gate? No thank you, I'm just gonna walk right through. Thank you very much. Wow, this place really is messed up. Alright, don't stop believing. 
Give me six of wines, but they'll never take our freedom! Alright, that worked. What's it like out there? We were beginning to fear we were the only survivors. Oh, trust me, that's what they think outside as well. Brother Martin? Yes, he's right over there. He led a group of us here during the confusion of the attack. We owe him our lives. That's all I needed to know. Thank you Good very day. much. Martin? Just can't sleep. I lie down and close my eyes, Martin. but I can't stop thinking about it. Brother. Have you brought help? We've been trapped here since the Daedra overran the city. You do not know how much hassle has gone into trying to find you. Ah. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. Well, we took a DNA test on the Jeremy Kyle show, and it turns out you're the Emperor's son. Now, how do you feel about that? Uh, there's a plan, we're part of it. What plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? You are early old septum, son. Oh. Jeremy Kyle show moment here. Emperor Uriel Septon? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. The Daedra came here for you. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? Because I'm the Emperor's son? Would I lie to you? I don't know. It's strange. I, I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? Come with me to Wayne and Priory. No. I'm sorry, but even if what you say is true, I won't abandon these people to their fate. I'll go with you when we can all leave here together. Ah! See, now this is just frustrating. I have found Martin among the survivors inside the chapel of Akatosh. He was surprised to learn that the Emperor Uriel Septum was his father, but he will not leave until the way is safe for everyone else. Yeah, he will leave Father Marcus. Uh, Alright, so do I just walk out and kill everything? A whole city. It, it all happened so fast. Yeah, I don't need to know this. Goodbye. Be Seeing you. Oh, let us kill every single one of them. No one goes through this door unless under the captain's orders. Who's the captain? No one goes through this door Eat unless me. under the.
Let's go talk to Martin. It isn't that I don't believe you, but I want... We've been through too much together already for me to just abandon them to their fate. It isn't that... Duh! Who's the captain around here? You? Gilbert. It's the Chapel of Akatosh. Four walls standing and no fire. Can you think of a safer place? Yes, I can, actually. Um... Right, you're not helpful at all. Um... Do you know where Enough the talk. captain might be? Greetings, traveler. What do you seek? Uh, bye. I think I'm going slightly now. Alright everyone, that's the end of this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!